Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna. For those of you who are new here, welcome. For those of you who are returning, welcome back. In this video, we're going to do some quick setup for the first week of July 2021 in my A5 Stology for work. And if that is of interest to you, please stay tuned. Okay, so as you can see, I've got two Stologies here. This is the one that's going to uh, be working for July 2021 through June 2022. This one went from October 2021 through June 2022. Nope, nope, that's wrong. October 2020 through June 2021. Holy moly. It's already rough and we're not even a minute into it. So what I'm going to do is we're going to do some setup in here. Not as much as I'd like, but um, I haven't actually been feeling well this weekend. Well, no, that's not true. I've been having some back spasms. And so I've just not really been doing anything on my desk here. Not much of it anyway. Uh, but I need this for work tomorrow. Uh, it's currently Tuesday, July 6th. So yeah, I, I need to get it done. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up July, but maybe not all of it. Uh, we'll do a quick after the pen of this one, and then we'll be good to go. Um, in the next video, I'll probably need to flesh it out. Plus, I do want to do a flip through of how this kind of progressed, but that's going to be for another day. So I'm going to just keep it out for now since it's already out. Oh, this is my Moterm A5 cover that I picked up from Amazon. And even though it's nearly a year old, except for some pen marks, it still looks pretty good. Still smells like leather. Love it. Okay, so we did this setup together. I'll link that video below. And then I said um, I would have this figured out. Well, I don't, so we're going to leave it. This isn't necessary for my work planner, so this is something I can go back and do after the fact. Uh, we set up the future log. This will go for 15 months. In that video, I explained why. This has actually been at home the entire time. I wasn't going to carry both of these. So this is going to be the first week I'm actually taking it to work. And so I'll start fleshing out some of these dates when I'm in the office tomorrow. The reason it goes for 15 months is even though the planner itself is only until June 2022, there are some things that I will already need to map out in the middle of the spring semester for the summer because um, at least for me, uh, I'm a staff member at a community college and spring, the latter part of spring semester into summer is our busiest time. And so I'll need to have kind of a handle of the projects that I'll be working on um, earlier in in the this semester. Uh, we just got our projects and tasks list last week, so I'll need to update this. And then this is open. For the July cover, uh, we're just going to use some stickers because I don't want to be doing any drawing or any lettering, so we're just going to go easy. I'm going to leave this page blank. It's the, the back page of this. I don't know if I'm going to need it for something yet, and we can get everything we need to with just one page for a July cover. Now, I know in one of these floral sticker books, there's some really big florals. It might be this one. Okay, I found it. It's this one, uh, the flower sticker book. I have not purchased any Happy Planner products in quite some time, and I have no intention to. I'm going to use up what I have, and then well, we're going to just call it a day. So this first part here, I want to put my favorite colors, which is pink and green. And so that one's nice. It's on a white background. This one's transparent. I don't know, I kind of like this one. So we're just going to do a little bit of a collaging effect just so that it looks like it was always meant to be that way. And then we'll take this one. And 
And the reason why I wanted this one in particular, because it takes so much real estate that it's going to take a lot of the page, which is what I want. Okay, so we've got that down. That could have been done better, but I mean, I don't plan, so <laughs> that's what I get. And then I want to put something on here. I kind of like that, not going to lie. Well, I saw the punch. I'm like, yeah, no, I like that. But I don't want to punch the day in the face. <laughs> If you're new here, yeah, it's always like this. Okay, what I have, um, the problems that I have sometimes with these sticker books is when it's so just over the top positive. And I know for some people it is, it's the motivation they need to keep on focus. But for me, I don't need a sticker that is my own personal cheerleader. That is more my style because, yeah, it just, it, it sometimes rubs me the wrong way that you got this girl and be excited about everything, like seriously everything. Oh my God, I got coffee creamer in my coffee. Hooray. Yeah, that just annoys me. So I'm like, yeah, no. Uh, they do have a sassy one that I actually never picked up. I'm not sad about it. I can always look at my own sassy quotes, and that's what I did in my previous one. But yeah, this to me is very fitting. You've got this beautiful floral and then this big old nope. I'll probably do some lettering when I'm at work tomorrow. I mean, it's my work planner, so that counts as work, right? But that's good enough for today. This you guys saw when I was setting up that, you know, what not to do when you're dealing with a wooden stamp. I did go in and put in the dates. Now, had I looked at an actual calendar, I would have probably started from the bottom row up. This just seems kind of unbalanced, but then the whole thing seems kind of unbalanced. So it, it actually works out perfectly. I don't know what I'm going to use here. In my previous work planner, I was tracking some things here, but I don't know that I necessarily want to do that. Again, I don't know how inherently useful this video is going to be because of that. So let's just set up the weekly and I will be using my stencil from Christy Marie Designs, which is this right here. And I did like the layout from the last week, so last week in June. Um, where it was the week on one page and then a spot for reminders. And then here I think we'll do the planner journal scavenger hunt, which I'm also not prepared for, but through the power of editing, hopefully it'll be seamless for you guys. Okay, so I'm just going to use the largest box on this stencil and I will link her shop in the description box below. And she has a variety of stencils and I would, oh, I would highly recommend to check her out. I've got such big hands, I never know where to put them when I'm doing this <laughs> to keep it out of the way. But then I also need to keep it secure or I'm gonna get that kind of action there. Now for some of you, that would be just a reason to glue the pages together. I am not that girl. My work planner has to be functional. That I add decorative elements in it just makes it interesting for me to keep up with, <laughs> but I don't need it. So I'm not going to treat this like this is precious diamonds. It, it really isn't. Okay, so let's do three boxes down here. And all of this has names. So that's my thoughts in. This is the quote of the week. And this is 
thoughts out. That looks good. And then we're going to do something up here to make our list for our scavenger hunt. And it's actually straight, but because you can uh, see the calendar behind it, it looks crooked. Again, I'm, I'm not gonna be <laughs> concerned about that. And so let's look for some stickers. This is probably not the best books to have, but they're already on my desk. Okay, so we're gonna lean, at least for this first week, all in pinks and greens. Now, if you are new here, this to-do is misleading. I don't need a to-do list. This is where I'm going to put my completed tasks for the week. But I like to have some color on the page, and so that's what this is doing. And it is crooked, and it's a combination of this is farther away from me than I would like, but also I've got big hands and I don't want to bust out a tweezer. Okay, so there and there. So it doesn't matter to me what it says and I'm not going to cover it up. I just like seeing the color. Okay, this is my where I'm going to keep what I need to remember for next week. Actually, I don't know, I don't think it's gonna fit because it kind of juts out kind of far. So let's use this, bring in some green because the stencil will fit a classic box. And I'll just write the list there. Again, it's just to bring some decorative element into it. And let's do this. And again, I'm sorry if the glare is insane. Okay. And I don't think this has any washi strips. Oh, but this one does. I can see some right there. Not exactly a washi strip, but it'll do. So I'm just going to put this across. Again, more to bring in color than anything. Kind of do the same thing here. Hmm. And then just put something in the middle. <laughs> I like this really. It's not really in our color scheme, but I don't know what we're doing up here, so that's fine. Really? Really. So that's going to be the quote of the week, thoughts in, thoughts out, um, to-do list for next week, completed tasks, and we'll put some of these down. Right here will be if I'm in the office or not, although I just realized these two, uh, the Monday was a holiday and Tuesday, which we're currently in. Uh, I'm off, <laughs> but I'll figure out something for those days. Okay. And I was going to use the heart up here, but it's going to be pointing the wrong way. Because this is office or any meetings, and then above that is where I put the lunch menu. See if we can be a bit clever. The repetition might be annoying. So let's do that right there. That actually looks really sweet. And that right there. And that right there. Okay, so 
This one was the very first floral that they did, but there's no boxes. This one has boxes, but a lot of them are big. This one has boxes and sayings, so maybe we can get lucky in here. In a field of roses, she's a wildflower. Meh. I don't know why they bring out my inner grump, but they do. Counter blossoms. <laughs> We're gonna go for that. That's kind of cute. Because we're just gonna. Okay, and then we'll just find something for here. Today's the day. Plan something fun. Nope. I'll just put a big flower. Well, maybe not there. Oh, okay. There's, there's good. I, I meant that. That's not a mistake at all. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not even going to worry about it. So let me write in some details. I'll look up what the uh, scavenger hunt is for this week and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got this fleshed out. This is Monday, July 5th through Friday, July 9th. I only work Monday through Friday. These two, this is a holiday. This was a vacation day. So I'll only be in the office literally uh, three days this week. And then my thoughts in, my thoughts out, and my quote of the week. The list uh, that I'll be working on is list number eight from my planner journal scavenger hunt, PJ scavenger hunt 2021. And the prompts are yarn, metal, light, ink, and flower. So I'm going to put this down. This is one of my Derwent Ink Tense pencils in apple green. I haven't tested out this medium in this planner, so why not do it together right now? And what this is, is um, ink in a pencil form. And so you just uh, color it in. It's sort of like a watercolor. Where it differs is once it dries, you cannot reactivate it. With watercolor pencils, once it dries, if you put wet medium on top of it, you might be able to move the product a little bit more. So um, I like that. And I've got one of these water pens here and I'm just going to sort of wash that out so that we've got some vibrant color. Again, pink and green, my favorite. Oh my goodness, I am quite surprised by that. I thought there would be some ink bleed through like the stamp ink, which was Distress Ink by Tim Holtz but right now it, it looks pretty decent. Okay, so that's all we're gonna be doing for the inking. Uh, I'm gonna need to find a sticker book because um, I wasn't prepared for the yarn, but I, I know where I can find that and I'll be right back. Okay, um, happy planner Joanne mega sticker book. And there is some in here. I'm not a liar, I just saw it. And I think we're going to go for this big pink one. And that's why you don't hoard sticker books, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so I'm going to put that there. I'll need to watch that um, because it's wet, it may not want to stick, so it might lift. So I'll have to check it tomorrow. If anything, I might have to glue it down. And I wonder if there's any of those stickers that don't have color in it. Something like this. And actually this would be perfect because it hits two things. It's got rose gold metallic on it. And it's a flower. The ink is here. This is an ink tense pencil. We need light, we've got yarn. Okay. I 
think that looks cute. And I'm kind of leaning towards one of these shine ones because that could be the light, but I would like it to be longer. This one is better because it's, it's more horizontal, but it's the wrong color. I mean, honestly, are, are we worried about that now? <laughs> Time to shine. Let me do a quick flip through through here if I can find anything better. If not, we'll use that one. Okay, so we're gonna use that time to shine. <laughs> and it goes there. Uh, I'm so sorry, guys. I just, I feel scattered. I want to eat dinner. I mean, it's just leftovers. It's not like it's amazing food. It's just, I'm hungry. Uh, so we've got yarn. We've got rose gold by way of metal. Shine is the light. Ink tents for the background. And those are our flowers. So we're good for this setup. Again, what I'm gonna do here and what I'm gonna do here, I'm not really sure. Somewhere on here, I probably will do some lettering that says July 2021. This might take the place of the snarky quote, and then I do my important dates to remember, like in a two column system. I don't know, when I'm at work tomorrow and they're paying me for my time, I'll go ahead and figure that out. So that's it for this one. And so we'll do a quick after the pen for this one. So for June, never figured what I was gonna do there. And honestly, we're just going to leave it. And I don't think I talked about this quote when I was setting up the final week. This was just a sticker, I believe, from that Gold Star sticker book. And it says, maybe if we all sit extremely still, Monday won't be able to see us. And so that's how the week uh, looked there. I did take sick leave because I had a doctor's appointment. And then for the final week, this only goes through the 2nd of July. Um, the quote of the week was, you're only given a little spark of madness. You mustn't lose it, Robin Williams. And I liked the scavenger hunt. That seemed to tie in pretty well. For the one that we did this week, actually, I think it looks pretty good, but uh, ink tents or anything water medium, you need to let dry. Even if I'd use my Tombow, I'd need to let it dry. And so there, there was just the, the rushiness of that. I'm getting into the process where I'll be working on some big projects, so my lists for the following week aren't going to be that big. And then Friday, there were there were no meetings, so that was an NA. And I didn't end up eating anything from the cafeteria last week. All right, well, I know it seems scattered, Maybe I'll be in a better mood after I've eaten dinner, but that's it. That's how I do my work planner setup. I hope you guys find it interesting. If you have any questions or comments, definitely leave them in the comment section below. And as always, aloha.